In this video, we are going to see the effect of pressure and volume, including addition of inert gas, on a system at equilibrium using Lee Chatelier's principle. In this equation, there is one mole of gaseous molecule on the side of rectum and two mole of gaseous molecules on the side of product. If we increase the pressure or decrease the volume, the system will respond by decreasing the pressure of the system back. So, the equilibrium position will shift to the side with fewer number of moles to lower the pressure of the system. Since there is one mole of gaseous molecule on the side of rectum compared to two mole of gaseous molecules on the side of product, the equilibrium will shift to the left. Hence, at equilibrium, amount of rectum increases, amount of product decreases, and the value of K remains unchanged. Decreasing the pressure or increasing the volume will make the system responding by increasing the pressure of the system back. Equilibrium position will shift to the side with more number of moles to increase the pressure of the systems. Based on the equation, there is more number of moles on the side of product. So, the equilibrium position will shift to the right. At equilibrium, the amount of return will decrease, amount of product increases, and the value of K remains unchanged. Example In this equation, there is 4 moles of gas on the side of rectum and 2 moles of gas on the side of product. Decreasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium to the side with more gaseous molecule which is on the side of rectum. So, equilibrium will shift from right to the left. Increasing the pressure will shift the equilibrium to the side with fewer gaseous molecules, which is on the side of product. So, equilibrium will shift from left to the right. Second example, if we look at this direction, there is equal number of moles of gases on the right side and on the left side. So, since the number of mole of gaseous molecules on both sides is the same, there is no changes in the equilibrium if the pressure is tempered. Inert gas. The addition of inert gas happens at two conditions. The first one is at constant pressure. Look at the following illustrations. Say that we have pressure A and pressure B at constant pressure 6 atm. This pressure are shared by two molecules only, which we will have 3 atm for gas A and 3 atm for gas B. Consider that if we add inert gas to the system at the same constant pressure of 6 atm, this pressure is now being shared between 3 gas molecules and each gas molecule will now have 2 atm pressure only. This means that at constant pressure where we add inert gas, the partial pressure of each gas will now decrease. So, if the pressure decreases, the system will respond by increasing the pressure 
of the system back. The equilibrium position will shift to the side with more number of moles of gaseous molecules to increase the pressure of the system back. Since we have more number of moles of gas on the side of product, the equilibrium will shift to the right. At equilibrium, amount of return decrease, amount of product increases and the value of K remains unchanged. Before we continue, the keyword for this video is pressure. The second condition is at constant volume. At this condition, there is no changes to the partial pressure because they each have their own pressure and they do not have to share the pressure with other gases molecules. So, the system will be at equilibrium and there is no changes to the equilibrium positions. 